rabbit jumping contest, where visitors from all over the state will stop by just to see if their favorite rabbit will jump the furthest this year. And as an added bonus, you will also learn how to multiply on a number line. Before the competition begins, let's head on over to Mrs. Taylor, who's going to teach us how to multiply on a number line. Thanks so much for joining us today, Mrs. Taylor. One of my previous YouTube videos was called Equal Groups at the Ranch. This lesson showed us how to multiply by creating equal groups. In this example, we have four groups of three. We have four circles, which are the equal groups. Then we put three Hershey Kisses inside of each circle. When we count the candy, we easily see that we have four times three equals 12. Multiplying on a number line is very similar. All we have to do is change one word. We're going to change the word groups to jumps. So we are going to have four jumps of three. But what does that mean? That means that our rabbit is going to jump four times. The three tells us how far our rabbit's going to jump each time. Each jump has to be the same. Our rabbit is going to start on the zero and jump to the three. That's one jump. Then we are going to do it again. One, two, three, and we land on the six. We have to do this two more times. For jump number three, we're going to count one, two, three, and we land on the number nine. And finally, one, two, three, we land on the number 12. Do you see how we jumped four times? The answer to multiplication problems, whatever number you land on. In this case, the answer or product is 12. Four times three equals 12. That's all you do. Now it's your turn. Hey, would you like to be one of the judges? Ah, oh, that would be great. As a judge, your job is to create each number line to show the path that each rabbit jumped. Show the jumps on the number line and create a multiplication fact that matches where each rabbit begins and ends. Let the contest begin. Our first contestant is Cinnamon. Cinnamon is going to show us three jumps of six. So the multiplication problem is three times six. Pause the video, create the number line to help you find the product of three times six. Then unpause the video when you're ready to check your answer. If you said that three times six equals 18 and your number line looks like mine, then you are correct. Let's play back the video to show the jumps that Cinnamon made. Notice how Cinnamon starts on the number zero and jumps to the number six. Then Cinnamon jumps six more to land on 12 and six more to land on the number 18. Here's what your number line should look like. We have three jumps of six. Three times six equals 18. Our second contestant is Snowball. Snowball is going to show us four jumps of five. So the multiplication problem is four times five. Pause the video. Create the number line to help you find the product of four times five. Unpause the video when you are ready to check your answer. If you said that four times five equals 20 and your number line looks like mine, then you are correct. Let's play back the video so we can see Snowball's jump. Snowball starts at the number zero and jumps to the number five. Then Snowball jumps again and lands on the number 10. Snowball jumps for the third time and lands on the number 15. And Snowball jumps for the fourth time, landing on the 20. Let's check our number line one more time. This problem may seem easier to you since you already know how to count by fives. Snowball jumped four times and we counted by five. So far, Snowball is in the lead since 4 times 5 equals 20. Our final contestant is Cupcake. Cupcake is going to show us two jumps of 8. So the multiplication problem is 2 times 8 equals blank. Pause the video, create the number line to help you find the product of 2 times 8. Unpause the video when you are ready to check your answer, judges. If you say that 2 times 8 equals 16 and your number line looks like mine, then you are correct. Let's play back the video to see Cupcake's jump one more time. Cupcake started on the number zero and jumped to the number eight. Eight is the number that's circled. Cupcake is going to jump one more time to 16 because we have to do two jumps. Two jumps of eight means two times eight equals 16. May I have your attention, please? It's time for us to announce the winners of this year's annual rabbit jumping contest. This year's winner is, drum roll please, Snowball the Rabbit! Congratulations to Snowball the Rabbit and its owner. We are proud of you for working hard this year and becoming this year's winner. Congratulations to all of you who participated in this year's contest. But most importantly, thank you to you for learning how to multiply on a number line.